Hi guys, this is Carol. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Louboutin Never Full in size MM. Um, this bag I've had for almost six years now. I got it as a graduation present from my in-laws when I graduated college. And I can happily say that it's in nearly brand new condition. Now this bag retails for, I believe, uh, 1540 before tax. And I can't say that um, the quality is the same from six years ago. So this bag is a little bit old, um, although it looks brand new, uh, but I haven't seen the bag that's getting sold right now. Um, and I say this because I did a review on the uh, Felicier pochette bag and I was a little bit disappointed about the quality and I compared that bag to um, my LV bags and some other items that I own and I was just really surprised about the the difference in quality so if the Neverfull MM has remained the same in the past few years then I can say that quality is top notch and that I would um, really, really recommend this bag. Before we get into it, I just wanted to let you guys know that I've created a blog and the, and the site is linked on my about me in my channel. So if you guys are curious to see, um, you can go check it out. It's called Thoughts on the Blog. And it's my little creative hub for me to talk about my French Bulldogs, um, some finance topics, um, do-it-yourself projects and sort of just all things that I like to do um, so go check it out if you want to but going back to the bag so this bag as I mentioned retails for $15.40 um, and it's the size MM the color is cherry because of the red the red interior the red lining but the canva or the the canvas material is damier I think I'm not butchering that um, and it comes with um, these little, I guess, adjustable um, side handle things, although I use them more for just decoration. I don't really touch them or adjust them or anything. Um, but they have these um, gold, I guess, details. The whole bag has these little minor gold details, um, like here on the little adjusting things, I guess I don't know what they're called, as well as on the inside, this might be a little bit tough to show you guys, but I'll try my best. Um, there is a clasp to close the bag, and that is in gold, it's a gold hardware. So you can just, if you want to close it, it's not a zipper or anything, you can clip it like so. Um, and the sides will remain still open. It's mostly just to, I'm guessing, keeping the bag from, you know, completely falling open. But if we take this off. On the inside, we have this, I guess, this pocket, this interior pocket. And it's maybe a little bit hard to show you, but it actually kind of comes up. So maybe that's what I'll do. So there is this internal uh, flap or pouch with the gold zipper hardware also and it's pretty roomy what i like about this bag is that you can just throw things in there this is my bag to if i'm going to my in-laws and i want to take some card games for us to play i just throw it in here if i'm wearing contacts to, uh, to go out and i feel like maybe my eyes will get tired later on i'll throw my glasses in here so this is my throwing in bag uh, because on the inside, it's a full, big compartment. Other than the pouch in the back here, there really are no um, divisions inside whatsoever. It's a free-for-all, just throw it all in here. Um, the bag does come with this accessory, this pouch, which um, it's the same material, obviously, as the bag. So they match. Um, hardware is gold as well. So the zipper is gold. And then the little handle here um, has the gold clip. 
So if we open it up, the inside matches the bag as well. So the cherry uh, material is also in there. And um, it's really roomy. So it has the big compartment in the middle and it has a pocket in the back. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has a pocket back here and then a big pocket in the middle. So it's pretty roomy um, and it's fairly, I guess, big in size. But to be honest, I've never <laughs> ever used this. So it comes with the bag um, and you can actually clip it to the inside. So the bag has a little, um, little hook thing here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's right here. And you can just, if you want to use this pouch as part of the bag, you can um, unhook here. So you can hook it up together and it can be used as a wristlet or you can just secure it to your bag. So you just put it in here and you would basically, I'll show you guys in a second, clip it to the inside of the bag. So now it's secure. It won't come out. Even if someone tries to pull it, I guess, it's secure to the bag. See? Um, but I've just never really had a use for it. Um, maybe it's because the bag itself already comes with an inner pouch. So for me, if I'm taking something that I want to keep secure, I will usually use the pouch back here. Um, but there's nothing really flat necessarily that I would want to use with this pouch because it is kind of straight. So anything you can put in here, it would probably make it bulge a little. So there's nothing necessarily flat that I want to take in here that I wouldn't be able to put on the bag's built-in pouch. But it's an option. So it's it comes with the bag. Um, you can do with it whatever you please, but I personally have never used it. So um, it's just been in my closet looking pretty, I guess, for the one day that maybe I'll use it. But it's a designer item, so it's not like uh, it's a wasted piece. Um, so going back to the bag, it's huge. Just throw anything in here. This is a big, big pouch. This bag, as I mentioned, perfect, perfect quality. And I've had this for six years. The one thing that's wrong with it is that I dropped some nail polish in it, um, but it was red. So it kind of just blends in. Um, but other than that, no rips, no tears, no wasting of the leather lining. Um, no scratches to the Canva, um, the bottom, also uh, perfect condition. And maybe I can even show you guys up close, like it's perfect. I mean, nothing about it. The handles are not worn uh, to the point that you can see that it's a very used bag. Um, it's just really, really great quality for six years of ownership. Now, I think I mentioned this in one of my videos before, the wear and tear of a bag really depends on not only the brand and the quality, but also how you use it. So I don't take this bag with me out everywhere. So it's good for you to switch around bags so you don't wear one too much. Um, but for six years, I think this has done great. I've definitely worn this a lot of times. So I'm impressed that it's held up this long. And it's one of the reasons why I would say, again, it's an investment piece. Um, it's definitely pricey, um, $1,500 before tax, but six years and holding strong and it looks brand new. So it's costly, but I wanna say it's a timeless piece. Uh, and very convenient too because uh, you can fit a lot of stuff in here, which is what I'm gonna cover next. Usually when I use this bag, um, I will put a few things in here. So let's go through that. As I mentioned, I don't use this pouch, so I'm not gonna include it uh, for the rest of this video. But I do have my cosmetic pouch, also in the same design, the um, Damier 
canvas and the inside is also like a cherry. Um, I have a lot of stuff in here like oil blotting sheets, hand sanitizer, you know, Advil, band-aids, all sorts of stuff. So this helps keep my bag neat. So I usually just throw that in here. Um, I hope you guys can see it, but just put that in there, right? Another essential is my wallet. Same material as well. Um, this is a Sarah wallet, I think. I couldn't find the exact one because this is also a pretty old wallet. Um, but it's also in red, it's the cherry color inside. It has my initial in there that I engraved. Oh, and one fun thing, well not fun thing, but um, one thing to know is that Louboutin allows you to engrave their products uh, to make it personalized. So I added my initial here. Um, the good thing is that you don't have to do it right away. So you can purchase something, wait a few days, a few weeks, and then go in to have it engraved. I believe it's free or at least at the time that I did this, it was free. But if you're unsure about a product, I would recommend to wait, get it, look at it, make sure you love it, and then engrave it. Because once you engrave it, you cannot return it. So it's yours forever. <laughs> so make sure that you love the product before you go ahead and engrave it. But it is a nice touch. So I usually use my Sarah wallet. I put that in there, right? Um, and then, you know, as I mentioned, my glasses, when I go out, sometimes I just want to take uh, my pair of glasses with me, so I'll throw that in there. Uh, I like to keep a water bottle with me at all times when I'm taking a bigger bag, so that kind of just goes there. And again, I just throw it in there. Um, and as I mentioned, sometimes when I use this bag, it's to go over my in-laws, and we like to play Uno or... Um, different games, so I usually will throw in Uno and then this new, new um, card thing that I got. So I just kind of throw it all in there. So this bag, it's big so that you can just throw things in there. There is no pou compartments, pouches really to keep it all organized. It's just throw it in there and go. Um, and the pouch back here, because I keep a lot of my necessities, I guess, in my cosmetic pouch, this one um, is usually free or open. I don't really put anything there. Unless I'm traveling, when I take this bag and be traveling, I'll put my passports back here. But that's about it. Um, and I also don't really clip it much uh, because when I'm wearing it on my shoulder, I'm having my hand over it anyways. So for me to clip it, it doesn't really add anything for me personally, but the option is there if you want to use it. So this is basically what I put inside it. Is it a bit heavy? Yes. Um, this is not, I guess, the everyday bag I use. Um, I'd much rather take smaller crossbody bags, mainly because of the weight. But there's no concerns whatsoever about this bag tearing for you, you know, carrying heavy things. That's not the case at all. Unless you abuse it and use it every single day and you put a bunch of stuff in there and you leave it on the floor and you push it in the little corner, you know, this bag is going to be a baby. You better take care of it, right? <laughs> so um, I have no concern with the weight, so that's fine. But I wanted to also show you guys what else I can fit in here um, size-wise because it's a little bit hard for you to grasp how big it is. So I have a MacBook Pro 15 inch. And this is actually, I want to say, the exact um, like width of the bag almost. So if I put it, this bag is so big. But if I put it like this, you can kind of see that it almost takes up the whole length of the bag. Um, so, if I were to put it in here, it fits, right? So let me just fix a few things here. Kind of organize it a little bit. It fits. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, 
but it fits the computer plus everything else that I had in there. And from a length perspective, I want to say this is as wide as you want to go, like a 15 inch MacBook Pro. Um, because after that, I want to say it would stretch out the length of the bag. Because for now, it's not, I mean, there's a little bit of space. The computer is about like here. But as you can see, the bag goes from a um, tighter or slimmer look to a wider up top. So the computer actually is like right here. There's very little room left. So anything wider than 15 inches, um, I don't think would be a comfortable fit for this bag. But a computer fits perfectly along with everything else that I had in here. Now, it's heavy, but again, I don't think the weight is the problem this bag. It's built really, really well. The handles are really good quality. Now, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to try my best. It's an awkward position. But um, even if I hold it like this, there is no, I don't know, pull on the back, like no pull here. So if you're worried about this bag not holding the weight, I wouldn't be concerned. I would be more concerned if you're using this for your school bag every single day. Um, then you can expect faster wear and tear. But if it's every now and again, I don't foresee a problem. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Um, I really love this bag. It's an oldie but a goodie. Six, almost six years going strong, brand new. So that's what I think is the most important thing about a designer bag or designer item, shoe, whatever. You're paying a high price and it's expensive, but it's hopefully going to last you a long time, or at least that's my expectation. And I can vouch for this one. I can vouch for this bag and say, I've had it for six years and if it wasn't for me spilling some nail polish at the bottom, you wouldn't even know it was six years old. But um, yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Please drop a comment below, like, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.